What's up my dudes, Valk here, and through the power of money, I have obtained a full unique team in, what is this, Champions Tower Defense. My brain's, like, currently fried because of how long I've been playing AWTD, but you guys can see, full unique on every mythic in the game except for Flash. Flash doesn't need unique because he's there just to destroy shields. I'll, I'll showcase that in a second. But let's go ahead, I'll waffle while we're in an endless... And I'll waffle while it starts, and then I'll probably fast forward a good bit so you guys don't have to sit here for the 20-30 minutes that endlesses take. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty silly on how much damage these uniques can actually dish out. They can dish out a ton of damage. So, first things first, we're just going to let the first wave rock for a second. And then we're going to go ahead and put down Superman, because you guys can see the first wave skips instantly. Uh, Superman's going to basically clear a good little portion at the beginning, but now it's just a waiting game, and now we're just going to wait, let everything ramp up so you guys can see exactly how silly it is. I'm just going to fast forward now to the point where basically you're going to want to actually watch, simply because this is what is actually going to get good. So, yeah, let's go ahead and skip the early game. If I ever need to explain something, I'm sure I'll stop the fast forward and let you guys see exactly what it is I feel I need to explain.
All right, wave 39 and we have everyone upgraded finally. So now I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how the setup works and why you don't run any money. You guys can see it, it's just kind of curb stomping it and I'm gonna talk about what all these units do. You guys can see the attack stats, absolutely insane. So all of the flashes are set the strongest because what flash is meant to do, he's just meant to kill shields. You see the shield here, right here on top of it. The reason he's set the strongest is because he's gonna attack the first strongest enemy he runs into, which is the one at full health. If they're full health, that means they have a shield. So you basically just put Flash it back a little bit and let him start just shredding shields like crazy. This is why Flash is on this team. So besides that, we have a 6650 attack um, on our Itachi. We have 7700 attack on our Sid. We have 4200 attack on Superman, 2590 attack on Stark, 3500 attack on Ichigo. Now, due to the mechanics of this game, this isn't the strongest setup. The strongest setup would unironically be Atachi and then four SIDs. <laughs> Atachi, four SIDs, and Flash. Um, because then you'd be able to get 7700 damage out of each of those units. But that's basically, this is how strong a full unique team is for this game. It is insanely powerful. It is really, really, really damn strong. It's just you are the uh, infinites do take a minute, and this being them being so cheap makes it so you don't have to run a money unit to actually fund your team uh, because you're only really funding the one unit of them. So because you're not running a money unit, you're able to just like full send the damage and just go absolutely insane with it and just rock your damage as high as you want. Um, to explain what the actives do, I'll be showing the actives in a second because I'm going to start fast forwarding again. But Tsukiyomi is a screen wide freeze. And then I Am Atomic is a screen wide nuke. Or not a screen wide nuke, it's a nuke within his range. Um, basically, I think it does like 100k to each enemy. I think it's something like that. But you'll see my damage will go up by like 4 mil whenever I do activate it. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and start fast forwarding again. Now that I've explained the setup and shown you guys exactly how strong these are, that way you guys can see what wave I get up to before I start running into troubles. All right, we're finally reaching a point where I'm gonna to have to start using actives, so let's go ahead and get it ready so you guys can see what the actives are, how they work, and what they do. Um, they're starting to finally push through, thankfully. So you guys can see the flashes because I have them set the strongest. They're still just shredding away at these shields. Um, they are letting some go by because they don't have as much HP as these guys. But the whole point here is to go ahead and hit this. I think I hit it right now, I did. So now we hit the Tsukiyomi, and then we wait a second, let this go off, and now, once they get closer to the edge here, we're going to go ahead and hit the I Am Atomic. So we're going to let this rock for a second, and now we're going to hit this. And watch the damage go up. Went up by about 2, what, 2.3, something like that? Pretty good. Uh, all in all, pretty good. So now you guys can see it's on a 120 second cooldown. It's already down minus 30 seconds because the cooldowns in this game are pretty short. So once we get more cooldowns and more time stops, I can definitely see people using them a lot more liberally 
and just using the hell out of them and keeping the enemy completely stunned up because the global cooldowns are very very short in this game they're not one and done so you'll definitely be able to do some very funny stuff because you can see i'm already down to 60 seconds i'll definitely be able to hit the freeze again to last even longer uh but yeah you guys can see they'll sneak by every now and then but i won't die to this due to the way this game works um not going to die to it. Instead, it's just going to do 20 damage, which, whatever. So, yeah, we're just waiting. Waiting for the ability to go ahead and hit the Tsukiyomi again. Once we can hit Tsukiyomi again, we'll be good to go. Uh, another 45 seconds toward till it. But, yeah, this is basically it. You can see this is at wave 61 right now so far <clears throat> for the all-unique team. Uh, wave 61 is pretty damn good. I've gone up to 66, 67 before with the full unique team. But like I said, it's not as strong as just running like five SIDs or four SIDs, one Itachi, and then one Flash. That's probably the absolute best setup you can run right now with the four SIDs each having unique. Um, I think even if you're running non-unique SIDs, as long as you're running four evolved SIDs, you should be good to go. Uh, simply because his damage output will be insane. So we have five seconds until another Tsukiyomi that we definitely are going to want to hit on cooldown. That way we can get ready to try to hit another atomic and make our damage shoot through the roof. So now that we hit another Tsukiyomi, we're going to grab Sid now, wait for the I am atomic, and just start hitting that second we can. That way we can make our damage go even higher. You guys will get to see how much damage it does, how much damage it can rack up. I can't imagine once this game gets slows and other like good debuffs like that. You guys can see how much damage it went up. Good little bit of damage. We're probably going to die here now after this. But once this game, once they, yeah, 20 mil damage. Uh, once they add like slows and stuff, I can't imagine how bonkers this game is going to be. Once they add more passives like that, since they already have like, they already have time stop and stuff like that. So I imagine um, once they add more, there's going to be a lot more wacky stuff you can do. But for right now, it's pretty bland, to be honest with you guys. It's pretty, pretty bland. Um, I almost almost got stuck in the box down there. There is an invisible box down there you gotta be careful for. Uh, but it's it's pretty bland right now. I feel like the game's going to get a lot better with time with updates. Um, there's not a lot of tower defense games that I know that are good off rip. So I'm hoping the developer, because he is very open to feedback. He's very receptive. Uh, hopefully he you know kicks it in gear and fixes his game up and makes his game really, really fun. Because I do like the potential this game has. I think this game has a ton of potential. Especially if the developer is listening to feed or keeps listening to feedback like he is now and implementing things that the players actually want. I do think this game can be pretty successful. Anyways, that's basically the video. I'm about to lose around wave 67. Yep, you guys can see 50,000 coins and 3,600 XP. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.